What's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. So my starter plays video kind of blew up and a lot of people have been suggesting I play the game Life Purpose because apparently it's a horror game that takes place on the starter map, which is something a lot of people seem to want to see. Now this clearly isn't the starter map, but I'm pretty much just going to play this game and tell you what my thoughts on it are. Alright, so it seems like I'm going to have a choice here to um, either kill four people or save the one guy. I think I'm gonna just kill the one guy, honestly. Yeah, let's just kill the one guy. This guy's kind of just yapping. There's a train in the distance, but I can't get to it. I'm honestly not sure what is actually happening right now. It's also not letting me pull the lever either. So it seems like I kind of just gotta wait through this dude's whole yap session, which is kind of what my videos are like, but that's beside the point. All right, bro's telling us a story about how this guy thought killing people would make him happy and fulfilled. Honestly, I'm not sure what this kind of start is, but honestly, this guy's right. He is talking too much. I've been waiting here for who knows how long. Can I just pull the lever already? I mean, you just have to ask nicely. Like, you don't got to convince me to kill someone. What did he do? Did he just give the guy a back shot? I do see the difference. Why does he have curves now? Whereas these people are still cubic. Okay. Uh, I think I might have been correct in my assertion. You know what? No, no, no. Now I'm not going to press it. The hell? Is the train going to come? What's going on here? So I have to pull it? So I guess you don't really have a choice, the game kind of just forces you to pull it, regardless. I think we made the wrong choice, but, I mean, it's not like I had a choice. Alright, and here we are, the Roblox starter place I just got transported to. This is the starter place horror game that everybody has been asking for. And considering I made the creepy starter place video, I'm gonna play it today. And we're gonna see what it's like. Seems like that train thing was a whole dream, and we're kind of just in Roblox now, walking around our starter place. Yeah, this is just the starter place. Alright, so it seems like this guy is schizophrenic. He thinks everyone is just trying to attack him and shit. I can't go anywhere. It's not letting me walk through any of these invisible walls. Let's explore around, see if any of the secret items are here. Looks like this might have been where one was. Alright, so I can't walk to the village, but I could just walk around all the terrain over here. I guess this is the cave that they're telling me to go to. First impressions, gameplay-wise, not the greatest, kind of just forcing us to do what they want us to do. I'm not a big fan of invisible walls, either. Okay, okay, this is getting kind of creepy, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. Perspective change. I can't zoom out anymore, by the way, guys. And we're just in a cave now. But I guess I can still leave, because I see the sunlight when I look back. We're just going to keep going. We're going to see where this cave takes us. What the hell is this? Dead guy? Yep. Okay, this game is actually getting interesting now. The game is getting interesting now. This is definitely like foreshadowing of some sort. I hope I don't also end up pinned to a wall. Maybe I'll just leave this cave now. Okay, and it's nighttime now. Okay, this is actually getting creepy. And as I speak, it's getting darker out of my name. What the hell? Yo, that actually creeped me out. Dead ass. What is going on? I do not know where the dog went. I don't know where my house is. I don't know what I need to do. I think it's this way. I think I'm just going to go back to my house now. Alright, my first impressions were not the greatest, but the game is actually getting good now. Let's just go in our house and sleep. And I'm gonna have a dream again. I already know. I'm gonna have a dream again. Watch. Hello? Who's there? 
Oh, it's not someone knocking at my door. It's like gunshot sound effects. What's happening? Someone's getting like shot up in the village or something. Oh, fireworks. This late at night? I mean, that's sort of how it works. Is today even special? Probably not. Alright, bro's going schizo mode again. The whole village is setting off fireworks to annoy him. Reminds me of all the Karens in my neighborhood. Having fun without me? I mean, I could go have fun with them if the game's developer didn't put these invisible walls. Alright, yeah, let's, let's throw the rock. Let's throw this rock at them. I mean, it would be funny. I love throwing rocks at people. Just hitting up random villages. Pillaging medieval neighborhoods. It's the grind, bro. That's the grind. My avatar is right. I'm just gonna sleep. What is going on? Now I understand. Okay. I'm in a trench right now. I understand now. I'm playing as a veteran who has PTSD. That's why the fireworks are annoying him. That's why I'm having the dream of being in the trench. Yup, it's been three years since the war started. Exactly. I think I just figured this game out right off the bat. Unless I'm wrong, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So the hovering conscious red orb is telling me that war in this game was seen as this great thing that kids would even lie about their age to get into. This guy's 21 years old and he just died. I guess I got four years left. Yes, it is unfair. Genuinely, war is terrible. That's not even a joke. I know I joke a lot in my videos. I, the flame is joking now. Why did bro fall like that? Are you serious? Now we're actually getting like a genuine lesson from the red hovering orb about the tragedies of war and the importance it means to the soldiers fighting in it. In this setting, it seems like these soldiers had to fight for their land or else the people back home would actually be in trouble. Alright, so I don't have a gun, but I guess I'm gonna just raw dog it and just beat the hell out of some enemy soldiers. How am I not getting shot? I've like touched bullets. Dream's over. Back in our house, guys. We're back in our house. So my avatar says the dreams are getting realistic, so now I'm having a second theory. These dreams are somehow merging with reality. Huh. Yeah, and none of the village people are there anymore as well. There's a girl here. Let's test our Riz out. In the evil cave. I don't know where she went. This is the guy from earlier, so I d Oh, what the hell?! That didn't even scare me. Why did I just- I don't even know why I just yelled. I gotta kill her? Alright, hey, that's fine with me. And there's like a nuke going off or something too. And it's nighttime again. Okay, where did she go? And where's that dog from earlier? And what did the dog have to do with anything? Also, she's way faster than I am. This is like not fair at all. Don't know why I'm trying to kill her, but the game said I need to kill her, so... If the game says so, now we got two paths, so I don't know where the hell to go. Is that her up in this cabin? Let's check it out. Let's explore. There's a cat in here. Meme cat. What the hell was that? It's like Roblox FNAF jump scare right there. So apparently it's bad that I haven't killed this girl yet. Okay, so we'll just kill her if she pulls back up in my crib again. I'm not gonna lie, first impressions, I'm not a big fan of this game. The pacing is weird, I'm not a big fan of the whole yap sessions, and I don't like having everything just shoved in your face. Like, I wish there was a bit more self-control with the story, a bit more finding out what to do yourself, instead of just immediately being told what to do. And there's a bunch of cliche Roblox horror elements just thrown in. Like, at this point, these faces are not scaring me in the slightest. 
it was kind of eerie when I first went in that cave, but everything else kind of just brought me, like, back to real life. Like, this stuff is just not scaring me right now. Now, it is telling me my secrets out, so I'm assuming that means I killed the man in the cave. And I guess these heads are, like, ghosts of my mind haunting me for the secret getting out. Or trying to convince me that it has gotten out when it hasn't. There's writing on the wall here. It says, do you believe there's more good people than bad people? I don't know. Let's just sleep again. For like the fifth time. Okay, this ain't like a cabin. This is like an actual house. Oh, it's not a house. I guess I'm in jail. I guess I'm in jail for killing the guy. Get me out of here. Let's break out. How do I break out? Old prison break glitch. Break out of jail, guys. I'm just gonna cut out all these yap sessions. Like, this is going on for way too long. Good rule of thumb when it comes to storytelling. Show, don't tell. He's just yapping about the dude that got framed in this cell. Do I think everyone was born for a reason? Well, I think my reason is to make YouTube videos for a couple thousand people to watch. Okay, and now he's just talking about random philosophical questions. Now the body is speaking a language I don't know, and the room just unanchored, and there's like a random box here. Do we go inside? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. The hell? Where do I go? Everything just faded to black. I don't know what that message that just popped up said. Alright, the dream is over again. Alright, now we're wondering where that girl is. I figured it out! We killed the guy in the cave. The girl saw us kill him. That's why we want to kill the girl. And again, I can't go to the village. I think I'll just look around and see what I find. Oh, what is this? What the hell is this? I'll just follow these roses then and see what I find. We're back at the body of the guy that I think I killed. Is this the dude that died in the war cut scene earlier? It might be. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What's going on? The hell was that? Let's get out of here now. Let's get back out of this cave. Nighttime again. Every time I leave this cave, it's nighttime. I don't know what's watching me, but there apparently is something watching me, so let's keep a lookout for that. As I'm trying to find what's watching me, I'm gonna head back to my house and sleep again. There's a knock at the door. Let's see who's there. Let's open the door. There's nobody there. Alright, let's go back to bed. And there's gonna be another knock. Watch. The sky? Wait, what's up with the sky? Let's, let's check. Oh, what the hell? Who is that? Hello? Hello? You there, bro? 
I can't tell if he's talking about me or if he's talking about him. Is this like the soul of the guy I killed? I don't know. I'm just gonna see what he has to say. Let's find out how do we break this curse. It's transferring me to another game now. I'm on a beach. Okay, this is actually cool. This looks cool. Let's see what's happening here. There's water. I can't go in the water, I guess. I don't know what's up with that. Oh! It's like a parkour, but if you fall in the water, you get sent back. Alright, that's fine. Let's try and beat this parkour. How does he get the environment like this? With this, like, glossy... fog. Some of these stones get almost fully covered by the water. We found the happiest man on earth. Sitting at the end of a rock. Looking out into an endless sea. Let's see what he has to say. Why is he the happiest man on earth? Let's find out. Life's purpose is to see reality as it is. To seek enlightenment. Human life is a cycle of suffering and rebirth. And the only way to end the cycle is to reach Nirvana. And Dave Grohl... And Kurt Cobain and Chris Novoselic. You must eliminate all greed, hatred, and ignorance within yourself. All your desires must go away. Learned about this at school last year, oddly enough. But how do we actually reach it? We ask the man sitting at the end of a stone looking out into the endless sea. And he replies with years of meditation. Only then, you can fully achieve enlightenment. There is good karma, and there is bad karma. Everybody has bad karma. Obviously, some people have more bad karma than others. And this man is starting to just yap. Okay, so according to this guy, bad things happen to us because of our past life. And it is our fate to experience these bad things. But that we can change our fate by gaining good karma. And if we show enough compassion, we're able to change our fate. So be kind to others. Give more than you receive. Love others no matter who they are. The bad things that were destined to happen, they'll go away. And so I ask. I'm sorry, but I used to live near the ocean. Until a huge tsunami came. I was a kid back then. And I somehow survived. But everybody else died. So bro's just ignoring our question as to why those kids died when they had no time to be compassionate in their life to make up for the actions of the people in their past life. His response is just to, to let it go, even though they all died. And now we're going to kill him, because we love killing people in this game. He's dead. We're back here. And the village is like partially destroyed for some reason. Okay. Everything just rendered, I guess. What do we do now? Head back to the cave, maybe? Let's do that. I knew it. Guy's not here for some reason. I don't know what's gonna happen now. Guess all we can do is head back. See what happens from there. And there's a shit ton of flowers growing up the side of this cave as well. Why are we at a campfire? I don't know what's happening now. I'm dead ass gonna search up when this game ends.
All right, we're back. What's going on? I'm in hell? Where am I? I'm on a wagon? No, 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 I'm at the campfire. Guess my dad's dead. And the village is on fire. And there's a red dot is back. Let's talk to him. He's about to yap. Again. Just like that, the game is over. I don't really know what that ending meant. All I know is that this genuinely might have been one of the most boring games I've played in my life. I have approximately 40 minutes of uncut footage just playing this game, and I'd say about 80% of it is just talking. Dude, especially that campfire scene. I just fell asleep. And you know, I know you guys already watched the video like this, but here at the end, everything is going to be sped up, even though I know you guys have already seen all that. Anyways, the people in this game already yapped enough. That was genuinely... And I, I understand the game's message. I, I liked some of those dialogues. The only thing is, this was marketed to me under the premise of it being a horror game. And I guess I was kind of hyped up because of the way I described the starter place in my video on it. So all in all, it was just a little bit of a letdown. But honestly, it's no hate to the game's creator. I mean, he definitely tried. There's a lot of effort put into it. There's a lot of work put into it. It has nothing to do with the game's creator. It's just my own personal thoughts on the game. It's just my opinion. Anyways, I'm not going to yap for as much as the characters yapped in this game. I hope you guys liked this video, and I'll see you on the next one.